Good morning, evening or afternoon. How's it going everyone? And we are back with another part run as it is Saturday, which means it's part run day. Today we are off to Congleton part run, which is just in between Macclesfield and Stoke-on-Trent, so just south of Manchester, and it's going around Asbury Mere Lake. So it's quite a flat course and it's all on hard standing, so you don't need trail shoes and it wasn't too slippy when it was a little bit wet a few days before so it's quite a good run for wet weather. So far we've reviewed five other park runs including Five Arches, Evesham and Summerdale Pavilion which was last week and if you want to go and check that, those out on the channel they're in the Worldwide Park Runs playlist. But if you don't know what a park run is, it is essentially a 5k run which includes some volunteers which are timing and marshalling the event and it's all completely free so it's definitely worth doing. So the course is really quite simple, it is a essentially a run around the Asprey Mere Lake starting at the Asprey Mere Country Park entrance running all the way around to the halfway point which is the Asprey Water Sports Centre then passing the Asprey Mere Foresty area and then all the way back up to the Asprey Mere Country Park you do that three times for three laps and then you do a final extra 100 meters on that last lap to get to the end. So at least that was a very simple course compared to the last week's at Summerdale Pavilion, but now let's take a look at the stats at this park run as it is a very flat one. We expect some quick times with the fastest male being Ryan Holroyd with 15 minutes and 19 seconds, which is incredible. Anyone that can do it under 20 minutes, it's, it's unbelievable really, it's inhumane. <laughs> then the fastest female is Olivia Walwyn with a time of 60 minutes and 58 seconds. Again, unbelievable time with an average number of runners as 196 and with a time of 28 minutes and 6 seconds. And now let's take a look at my GoPro stats before we run. So we've done currently five park runs the best finish position of fourth place that was at Zaloni Jar and our fastest times have been five arches in third place with 23 minutes and 25 seconds Evesham in second with 23 minutes and one second and Summerdale Pavilion with a very quick time of 22 minutes and 32 seconds so I'm very happy with those times and now it's time for the race so a quick cheer for all the volunteers for all their hard work and effort every week I do really appreciate them all being there and then it was quite a quick start after that cheer but as you can see it's really congested but we are almost off and we are going so here we go started the park run i actually did this with one of my mates from uni we came down well came all the way up to congleton we actually went to rudyard lake in rudyard which was really nice stay just on the side of the lake there i definitely definitely recommend going and see that lake if you've got time to if you're up north but yes we have just started and as you can see it's really congested a very slow start for me i'd much rather go a lot quicker there than, uh, than them at the start but that's all good because it's really busy and then later on we can uh, start taking over people but that's my mate there in front in blue just getting taken out by a few brambles by the looks of it but let's see how we get on we're just beginning to bring up, bring up speed and you can see there on the right hand side that is where the finish line is so that's that extra 100 meters there at the start that you have to do before finishing as you can see it's still a little bit congested and there are other people using the park as well which you need to be careful of but if you do want to try and get your pb i would recommend this course because it is a very flat course and it is three laps of doing the same thing however i would definitely recommend going towards the front so that you can get a quick start if you are trying to get your pb otherwise you get stuck behind people but it's all good and we're probably just about a quarter of the way around of this first lap now two minutes and 33 seconds in you see on the left hand side that's where the lake is and then on the right hand side it's just lots of trees which uh, surround the lake and now we are heading up towards the halfway point this is where the water sports center is so it sort of goes out into a little bit of a car park by the uh, water sports centre but there is a little footpath there as you can see marks in yellow so you don't actually have to run into the road and then you're heading up towards the actual pavilion area so you're jumping up over that to hump and then coming up towards the gate which you've got to be careful of here because you don't want to run straight into the gate otherwise you'll get taken out so you have to cut across here to the left and then back out onto that pathway and then you're off again so that's where they uh, store the water sports equipment and on the left hand side is a lovely view of the lake 
but as I was saying, I did actually stay with a few of my mates in Rudyard, so we stayed up for quite till quite late. I think it was about 2 a.m. And also we'd had a few drinks, had the dominoes the day before as well. So I definitely don't recommend that before doing a run. And you definitely won't get your PB from doing that either. <laughs> and now we are probably at about the three quarter stage of the first lap. As you can see on the right hand side, the tree area, which I outlined when we did the route. And then on the left hand side, the whole time, as long as, long as the lake is on your left hand side, the whole time, you know you're going in the right direction. There's so many people in front, but obviously the person in first doesn't have the luxury of having people in front of them, so they have to keep an eye out. But this is a really simple course. Keep the lake on your left hand side and you're not going to go wrong. And now we are heading our way back towards the start. Quite a few people had lots of different shirts, to be fair. There were some 100 shirts, some 50 shirts. I think I even saw a 250 shirt, which is incredible. People who have done 250 part runs is unreal. They must have started right near to when they first brought out part runs, to be honest. Because I don't know how they've got the time to do that many. But it is all very impressive and we're now heading our way towards the start. So that is about lap one complete, a really good time so far of 7 minutes and about 45 seconds. So if you kept that, this pace up, we're looking for below 25 minutes, which is perfect. That's what I try and aim for every run. That's my sort of aim for the run, get below 25 and I'm happy with that one. I know it's obviously a lot harder if it's a lot hillier and this one's quite flat, so I should probably say 24 minutes has been setting that as my target. But in this case, I usually set them as 25 minutes. So we're just passing that finish line there for the first time and it was actually quite funny because the guy, the run director, was telling us what time we were on, which was quite useful for me because then I was like, oh, I need to pick up the pace a little bit or I need to, I'm going too quick sort of thing. So it was quite good that he was there shouting out the times for us so that we knew how well we were doing. But as you can see, it's all hard standing. We've done a lap now, so there's nothing's gonna change. All hard standing ground, so you don't need trail shoes, but you can take them if you really want to, and you're not gonna slip. It's perfect, because it had rained the day before, and again, as you can see, no standing puddles, so you're not gonna get drenched either, which is perfect. And you'll have to let me know down in the comments, what is the flattest park run you've ever done? Let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll have to see if anyone's done similar ones. So we are making our way back towards that water sports centre now. There's a guy here on the right hand side who's just taken over me, so he's doing really well as well. And I think we're currently in the probably around 52nd, 53rd position. Not 100% sure. There's the lake still there on our left hand side. It'd been quite nice because we didn't really have time, much time to spend in Congleton, but it looked like a nice area and the park looked really nice as well. So it'd probably be quite good if you took a picnic down there one day, maybe and uh, did the run and then finished it off with a quick picnic snack and drinks. Now we are heading back towards that woodland area on the far east side and we're doing well still. We're on 12 minutes and 5 seconds. So we did that lap probably, uh, well that half lap a little bit quicker than we did the initial first half lap which was to be expected as we were stuck right at the start of the run. But I think in terms of part run, as part runs go, this is probably the easiest one that I have ever ran, but it wasn't actually my fastest as you'll find out by the end, but this is definitely one of the easier ones and I would recommend going to try and beat your PB. However, I'm not a huge fan of three of the same lap. I like to have as little laps as possible. So if it's just a one lapper, that is perfect for me because you're literally just running. Everything's new around you and I really do enjoy those sort of ones. Whereas three of the same thing can get a little bit repetitive, but it was a nice area, so I wasn't too bothered about that.
We are now heading back to the most northerly point at the country park. We're still doing quite well, 14 minutes and 46 seconds currently. So we have managed to bring it back a little bit after that first lap. And hopefully we can uh, beat 25 minutes like we said at the start. But just thinking about that water sports center, I actually do really love doing water sports to be fair. You'll have to let me in the comments if you're a massive fan of water sports as well. I love doing sailing, uh, canoeing, paddle boarding, all of that stuff, but it, is, it was freezing when we ran it. This is only two, three weeks ago now, so it was very cold. And uh, at the Rudyard Lake where we stayed, they had canoes, but we decided not to go out because it was freezing. And there we go. So it's the last time we'll look at that finish line until we finish 16 minutes and 12 seconds in. So that's currently set for a time of 8, 16, 24 minutes ish. So we're doing quite well at the moment. You just try and pick it up maybe that little bit more, try and speed it up. But I believe that we could have got a really quick time on this one. And I would love to do this one again and try and beat my PB that I got this time because I really think that I could probably get on the leaderboard with this. I think this is where I start to just pick it up ever so slightly so I try to speed up slightly more than I already am going because I'm thinking oh I'm not too out of breath so I feel that I can start to pick it up and I know there's no hills coming up as well I always think if there's a hill coming up and I don't want to push it too hard because then I'll get stuck on that hill and I'll have to end up walking which I've only ever had to walk up a hill once which was at the Cheltenham Park Run, which is out next week, so don't make sure to go check that out. But all the other ones, which you can see in the Worldwide Park Run playlist of mine, I've not actually had to walk yet, which I'm quite happy about, because that means that I'm pacing it well, and I'm not getting stuck on the hill. And we are at that halfway point now, passing that water sports center for the final time. So not too much long, longer left to go. You've got to watch out because there's a few potholes around this area, which is obviously coming from the cars, tugging the boats around. So uh, keep, you, keep an eye on your footing at this area. And now we are heading our way back towards that foresty area for the last time. And then we'll be running towards the finish. But whilst we're here, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I know this is the third time I've told you now, but please let me know what is your favourite part run. And so I do like to look at some of the comments, see where they other people say is their favourite, and then if I'm near that area, I'll make that effort to go down and run it. And also, if you are enjoying and you haven't yet liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I appreciate that a lot. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed and you want to see more of this part run style video every Friday, hit that subscribe button. I have to do with gaming content and vlogs, but obviously, you don't have to watch that. <laughs> And here we go, we're heading up towards the country park, right near that finish line now. So a few people that you may recognize from near the start, which pulled away from me, and we have managed to catch up with them a little bit, which is good. And we're just jogging now around this right-hand side towards the finish line. So 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Can we beat 24 minutes at least? I think we can, I think we can do this. Right, and here we go. So I've just re realized that we're back at the start of the race and I've started to pick it up that little bit more towards the finish line, trying to push my way through, just to get my way to the end because I don't want to uh, be running this anymore. So arms and legs are flailing. George, who is my uni mate, he's just behind me. I think he, he might have got about 25 minutes and something. I'm not too sure. I can't remember quite exactly what he got, but here we go. We're trying to push our way to that final finish line. You recognize this bit as being the start. There's a few finishes there already. Here we go, 23 minutes and 17 seconds. Surely we can beat 24 minutes. I'm pretty sure we can do. Here we go, 23 minutes, 23, 25. Come on, we've got this, the final push now. 
right at the end. I thought I was actually going to take over this lady here on the right hand side, but she just somehow got a burst of energy out of nowhere, which was incredible. She sprang to the finish line, and there we go 23 minutes and 37 seconds. Very happy that time. And a position here of 46 and um, a 46. Thanks again to all the volunteers that volunteered the event. And yeah, now I'm gonna just have a quick breather. <laughs> so that is Congleton Park Run done. That is now six park runs completed. I have to say I did really enjoy this run. It is a nice and simple one, running around basically in a circle three times, and it's really flat. Tarmax as well, so you can't ask for much more and it is a good run for a PB, as long as you make sure to get to the front of the start. And again, a great thanks to all the volunteers who uh, made it just that little bit easier. They were able to motivate us, especially the run director who was shouting out the times at the end of every lap. That also did help to motivate me to make me run quicker so that I could get the second and third laps quicker than I did the first one. And now we're into the tips and tricks section. So there's lots of parking there down sandy lane so if you drive all the way down to the end there's parking there so marshals will guide you as well because once that gets full there is a little bit of parking there a lot along sandy lane too which is good and then if you need the toilet there is also some toilets down at that car park as well the asprey mere toilets so perfect location for that and if you do need the loo before you run you can just go to the toilet of the car park and finally if you do enjoy going for a coffee after the park run unfortunately i was a bit stuck for time so i was unable to do this but there is gg's coffee hub which is again situated right by the car park so everything is within 100 meters from the start so it's perfect now back to the gopro stats so we've now gone up to another part run so we're now on six however apart from that nothing else has changed summer del pavilion still there on top with a time of 22 32 and unfortunately we're 12 seconds off beating my five archers time so it doesn't make it onto the leaderboard congleton unfortunately so this has been congleton part run I had a really good time and thanks again to all the volunteers but it's not over yet. If you want to check out another park run video, which I did, the Summerdale Pavilion park run, which is last week's, or you can go and check the worldwide park run playlist out here, and you can go and see all the other five. Next week's video will be Cheltenham park run, which is a lot more hilly than this Congleton park run. And this week, unfortunately, I am going to the races in Cheltenham, so I will not be able to do a run this week. But it's all good. I've got another one set up for you next week. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.